hello everyone. Uh, why am I making a video on, what day is it? It's Saturday. Why am I making a video on Saturday? Well, it's a very stressful video and I'm not, probably, probably barely even going to edit this if I edit it at all because I don't have a lot of time to film this. Um, as you're watching this, I'm probably not going to be conscious at all. Probably going to be laying in the ICU with my chest sewed up. So if you if you know where this is going, um, they walked in this morning and said that there's been so many people walking in and out of this room all day. So they walked in this morning and said that I have a heart, like a, there's a, a donor with a heart that matches everything. The fridge just turned on. I don't know if you guys can hear that or not, but but yeah, um, they came in yesterday and said that they found a heart but they weren't going to take it because they could find something better. So I was like, holy crap, I've been here for a day and they already found a heart. Here I am, it's been less than 48 hours and they found one and I'm, I'm going to end up most likely getting a transplant within the next 24 hours, which is like... If you, if you can't tell by my energy in this video, I'm a little bit freaked out, slightly terrified. A little bit more than slightly terrified because... Well, obviously, but I'm... <laughs> I'm excited that it happened this quick so I didn't have to live here in the hospital for a few weeks. I mean, I'm going to regardless, but I mean, like, I'm not going to have to live here prior to heart transplant. But it's... I don't even know what to think. I don't have words, but I'm literally just making this video to say what the hell is going on. I don't even completely know. I'm still kind of like... This doesn't feel real, if I'm going to be completely honest. Like... It's just one of those things that no matter, like, when you hear it, it just, it doesn't feel real. Like, this is actually going to happen. And, I, it, it's just crazy. <laughs> so, that's kind of where I'm at right now. Um, one thing I do want to say, um, I'm extremely, extremely grateful for whoever the person is out there who has donated their organ. Um, it's definitely not an easy thing to talk about because, as you know, with a heart transplant, someone has to lose their life and a family has to go through a really rough time for someone like me to receive a heart and be able to continue living my life. So it's really one of those things that it's like, like, you, you, like I don't even really know what to say, but it's just kind of like, someone has to give up their life for yours and there's no other... It's just a really weird thing to talk about, and it's not easy to talk about, but it's it's, a, it's something that you're extremely, like, thankful about and very, like, thankful for, but you also know that someone has to go through a loss, which is not easy to think about, and I will forever, forever, forever be so incredibly grateful for the family and the donor that I got for giving me this gift to allow me to keep living my life. So I, I do not know who they are, but if you're watching this, I doubt it, but thank you so much for this incredible gift of life that I will be able to use to continue my life and keep going and do some crazy cool fun stuff. So thank you so much and also thank you everyone so much for all the support going through this. Um, we're about to go through the final battle, the hardest part of all this, and then once we get done with that, we're gonna be waiting to go back home at the apartment. I still, I, I can't believe, like, holy crap, I made the right choice, right? Going on 1A, I would've been waiting in the apartment on 1B for like a month. I'm here for less than 48 hours and I already have a, a donor heart. So, I don't really know what else to say. Um, I, my mind is just kind of a tornado, but I figured I might as well talk to you guys before I go under the knife and get knocked out for a few days, because I'm going to be sedated for who knows how long, but I'm terrified, but I'm ready to kick ass and I'm ready to do this. This is definitely the most intimidating thing I've ever heard in my life, and it just doesn't feel real, but I'm excited to do it and I'm excited to get to a better life, so let's go do this, guys. It's not going to be easy, but we're going to kick ass all the way through it, so that's all I really wanted to say. So thank you guys so much for watching. Um, I hope you're all doing really well. I'm excited for this, but 
It's gonna be interesting. It's gonna be a rough ride. Let's do it. Um, next week on Wednesday, there's gonna be a video of the go kart racing. It's just a video that's automatically gonna be uploaded. And then after that, I'll be back to talk to you guys probably in a week or so because I'm not gonna be conscious for a little while. <laughs> but yeah, thank you all so much for watching. I will see you guys soon. Um, we're gonna kick ass through this. I'm super excited. We're gonna get to a better life. I love all of you. Thank you so much for all the support on the channel. And uh, yeah, let's do it.